it's all coming out now. I'm telling you, it's all coming out now. They found a giant mummified finger in Egypt. So please, when you see videos like this one, just ask yourself a few common sense questions like, who are they that found this giant finger? Where did they find it? You know, how was it examined? Uh, we're seeing a picture there with no scale, really. So how do we know how big it actually is? You also don't know what it is. It could easily just be a prop, you know, for example. Um, but there's also a lot. There's also a lot of plausibility questions that we get asked. Um, if there were giants walking around a few thousand years ago, why is that the only evidence that we have that they existed? Uh, scattered random things like a finger here, or, you know, an anomaly over there. Uh, where's the archaeological community uh, in all of this? The th big things tend to get preserved really well. That's why we have dinosaur bones that are hundreds of millions of years old. You would think that if there was a population of giants living in Egypt a few thousand years ago, we would have more than a finger uh, left behind. There would be you know, pretty much no way to hide that from the paleontologists and archaeologists of the world. Uh, I like the fact that he says uh, that these giants made the pyramids. Well, we actually know exactly how the pyramids were made, by the way. That's well documented historically. No mystery there. It wasn't made by giants. But, uh, but, uh, but people have already pointed out then, then why are the doors so small uh, if, the, if the giants made it? I guess the giants made it for their little friends. Uh, so there's you know, no plausibility to this. You know, just, if you just ask yourself common sense questions uh, about what should be the case if the claims were true and you know, why aren't we seeing the scientific detail that would exist, uh, it becomes immediately clear that as entertaining as these claims can be, there's absolutely nothing to them.